So for today, we're going to be looking at the challenges for week four. If you guys don't know, if you guys are new, I usually do these uh, weeklies. So that way you guys can see what challenges are up. And we also look at Eververse. So if you like the video, like, comment. I'm not going to go through the whole spiel because let's just get into it. So Antiquarian 4, return the fourth relic to the helm. Also defeat Vex, defeating it with melee abilities will award bonus progress. This one's not hard. You can literally destroy Vex anywhere you want. So that's really it. Just do the story mission, get the uh, relic, make sure you actually uh, put the relic away in the helm and just kill a bunch of X. This is not hard. Next one is going to be use treasure maps to reveal additional rewards at the end of the expedition. Using advanced treasure maps will award additional progress. Also spend plundered umbral energy at the star chart to focus engrams uh, throughout the season. So this is going to be a, a slow burn because unless you have just a oh wait hold on plunder 60 okay if you have 60 then this shouldn't be too hard like this should be pretty simple uh defeat targets with shotguns and defeat blinded combatants oh this is gonna be annoying uh defeating combatants in expeditions and defeating guardians will award bonus progress i would do this in expedition and depending what class you are i would probably just use uh, blinding grenades and just spec into arc blindness pretty much and shotgun you can use literally any shotgun you want uh broadside complete catch crash on master difficulty this might this one might be annoying for some players because you might have to get well you're gonna have to get a lot of people for this uh so because i don't think it's match made which is annoying as hell so just L lfg this unless you have a clan then just do it with a clan uh, mod collector unlock artifact mods this one i don't even know how i got this but i got it apparently uh, i don't know how oh artifact mods i'm dumb. uh just do it just by just by playing the game you'll level up your character and you should be able to get this it's not that hard uh precision calibration Calibrate marksman weapons, scout rifles, sniper rifles, and linear rifles by landing precision final blows, bonus progress against guardians. Okay, so this one uh, might be a little annoying. Damn, this would have been good for last week considering scout rifles, everyone was using scout rifles. I still have to review the new, uh, the new game mode for Iron Banner, which is probably gonna go up this week. But yeah, just use literally in anything you're doing here, just use these weapons and you should be fine. Uh, slowed down defeat guardians with stasis damage bonus progress is granted for defeating slowed or frozen opponents uh, Just use stasis uh, state your stasis subclass and stasis weapons. Hopefully Account that'd be really cool if it does uh, High value hunter defeat powerful combatants and gambit earn bonus progress for defeating high value targets uh, Personally, this one's not annoying because I play gambit like pretty regularly. I mean I, I have like I'll show you guys after we're done with the last one. Hold on. Darkest Nightfall. Complete any Nightfall strike on hero difficulty or higher. Not hard at all. Actually, since this is the last one, we'll actually go. So this one's not hard at all, actually. Because this one, you go to Nightfall, Depth, and then Hero. That's really it. Hero is pathetically easy. I'm not even kidding. Like, it's super simple. I mean, if you have friends and you just want to do, like, Master to get the better chance of getting uh, nightfall weapons and ascendant shards do it it's very very much recommended because you need ascendant shards and exotic gear is always nice but ascendant shards is definitely what you want i'm gonna be waiting for grandmasters to do that uh the other the thing i wanted to tell you is i have gambit this is what i have i have gambit like i'm about to hit six times because this i always get i always get it every season because it's super simple uh as for eververse let's actually look at what she's selling so she's selling the Whis whispered sheen which is such a cool shader also this is a uh, spoilers because this is for a video uh con cannon fodder cannon fodder wow cannon fodder which is yeah you also have a ship the pallbearer which not a fan and then a sour taste which is a really funny emote really funny let me go down we have a really cool ornament for the cold fu no cold fusion what the fuck are you called cold heart there we go it's so cool this is so so fucking cool it's unfortunate that it's on a weapon that 
no one uses. Uh, I'm almost tempted to get it and just use it because it looks cool. We'll see. We have the first pieces of the Fortnite arms, which is really cool, and it's discounted apparently. I don't, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> I don't know why. It's just it's 15, but it usually costs 15 already, or 15 bucks. I mean, no, 15. Let me see. Usually it costs 15. The reason it went down is because I have a piece of it, and when you get more pieces of it, it go, the price price goes down, which I think is nice. A dramatic countdown, which I don't really care for. Kindled Wander. Oh, this is from the. Uh, oh, this is really cool. This is from the the Eververse Solar set from last season. Keeping score, which I just got from from an Ingram, which I don't care. Spilled tea, which is this probably costs like three thousand, dog. Oh my god, it does. Ugh. Abyssinian gold. Oh my god, guys. Get Abyssinian gold. I might actually make a, a, a video just saying to get this shader because it's such a good shader. Very versatile. It's a really good black shader for a lot of pieces. Just be aware that the brown plate does it. It gives off a brown color for plate armor. So just be aware of that. But if you're wearing cloth, it's such a good cloth. As you guys can see from my hood. It's it's a good black. It really is a good black. I really recommend you guys to pick this one because it's so good. We have oiled metal. This is also a good shader. It's another black shader, but what's really good is it gives off this really cool color on weapons, and it also gives off a really good black as well. You guys, as you guys can see from my cloak, it's it's an even darker black than the other one. Just be aware that it does have like uh, some shininess to it. Uh, Royal Welcome, which I guess we just that was that was the best we had. So now we're just back to. I'm not a fan, obviously, of this shader, as you guys can hear from my voice. I just think the caca yellow and the the sad purple is not a good combination. Bloody Tooth. Oh fuck, man! This is this this is packed, bro. Definitely pick up Bloody Tooth as well, bro. This is such a good shader. It's a good black black and uh black and white shader, but it's also a good red shader if you can find pieces that are actually red. As you guys can see, there are red pieces here. But damn, dude, the three shaders that are actually like really good and like only one that's pretty terrible and even then like the shader up here is also really good i really do like this shader we're actually gonna make a video off of the shader but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below let's actually look at which uh or let's actually try to find where the whatchamacallit is that oh it's right here that was fast excavation site um 12 i think that is and it is for head helmet. So that's pretty good. I actually might do it. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Are you guys going to be getting some of these shaders? I recommend it because a lot of those shaders were fire. And if you don't have it, those are like vital shaders to have. So be safe and I'll see you guys later.